Um, hello, Haiku. Back for a uh, historic popper game. I'm just going to play, play a pickup game. Um, uh, basically, I was frustrated with uh, the Explorer popper, the lack of uh, a lot of one damage or one mana removal spells. So, uh, <laughs> playing this, so you get the Tragic Slips, which just got printed, a uh, big upgrade to any black control deck. Uh, and then the, um, I've only opened three of them, um, in my seals and stuff. So, um, I'm slowly cutting down my Vraska's Falls for Tragic Slip. So I would, I would play four, four, four of these. And then I think one and one is fine. And, uh, just play one Vraska's Fall in the main. And then you could play some in the side. Um, yep. Uh, a lot of untapped lands, uh, in this deck. Um, to try to keep up with the pace that Historic is uh, presents. So no more duresses, and I get to play with Devriel's Withering and much stronger cards. Unfortunately, I've opened these Tragic Slips, which are a lot more rare to open compared to the Giss's Biddings which I've played four seals now, and I still haven't got, I've only got one Giss's Bidding. So those those blue back um, Madness decks that you see, um, I don't think they're powered up enough yet. Um, and I'm still gonna draft it, uh, play first, yes. Um, I'm still gonna draft a lot uh, of the Shadows decks, so I figure I'll pick those up, so I don't really wanna craft them right now. This is a reasonable start. Um, it's a little bit slow because it's going to be tap land, tap land, and then Raska's fall, his creature, his threat, whatever he plays. Um, yep. I think I'll just get all my tap lands into play. I'll get my island into play next turn, so then my sanctuary comes in untapped. So he's some, some sort of enchantment deck. Um, so I, I kind of like this. Blue-white means that it's not going to be aggro enough to really put a lot of pressure on me. And um, my counters are going to be very good against his uh, random whatever synergy cards with uh, with uh, enchantments. So hopefully he puts a creature into play right now. That's unfortunate. Do I still not want to play an augury this turn? Um, I have more land drops. I think I'm going to actually save my Augury. Tap land's actually pretty reasonable. Again, he, he um, I don't think he's going to present too quick of a clock, so I think I'm okay to uh, um, not use all my mana every single turn. So hopefully the opponent Play something into. I, I just basically want to get the poison train started. Yep, I'll let that resolve. Okay, and the poison train begins. Unless he has a counter, actually, but um, he has plenty of instant speed stuff. So if he wants to use a counter on that, I'm fine. It's unfortunate that I'm not going to have a poison counter on him, but all right, this is even better. Um, I'm thinking about using experimental augury to try try to draw a counter. Um, I like I like auguring right now because I have the Mystic Sanctuary to rebuy it. So let's get a counter. That was a good draw. Let's do that. Um, and then uh. So next turn, I want to augury. So let's go ahead and put that on top. I think that's fine. Um, this does give away a little bit that I am I am relatively strong as far as removal spells. Because what I could have done is I could have waited. Um, but I know I have enough removal spells to, to weather kind of whatever he's going to bring. 
Um, so um, the bring then bring might not be able to counter a creature next turn, which is okay because I have innocent blood. Um, it's just unfortunate that I don't have a play this turn. Yeah, that's fine. So let's uh, contentious plan. All right, he's corrupted. Ooh, that's a nice draw. Let's go ahead and remove his threat. And I'm feeling really, really good about this game. Um, he has no threat on the board, no pressure. Um, I mean, he has a ton of cards in hand, um, so he's eventually going to get another thing. But by then, I think, I mean, I get him up to five poison with this augury. Uh, so I think with these two, in my top seven cards, I'll be able to draw into another poison spell. So I'll have him up to six, potentially seven. Uh, that one's fine. I'll Mocha sees that thing. Uh, that one is less okay. Let's go ahead and counter that one. It presents a lot of uh, power. Ooh, I can Davriel's Withering that. Um, so let's start with Augering. Um. <laughs> I'm like so confident right now. Okay, so he's gonna be a four, five poison. That he can't really present enough threats that I, I can just take this and let's play prudent. I got I got plenty of time to uh, kill him. Um so let's go ahead and uh, I'd rather play two spells on his turn. Um, um, it draws him into more stuff, but I can just kill it, so I think that's fine. His life toll doesn't matter, so Lunark Veteran is not too scary. I guess the only thing I'm countering is the attendant. I guess I'll, I'll counter a course guy fisher. Um, I can't remove I can't remove the damage, so I think I would counter that one. All right, I take one. I'll probably augury into Davriel's unless I augury into another augury. Saying Augury so many times in a row is difficult. Infectious Inquiry. I think that's just what I ordered. All right. Yes. Okay. You are going to go bye-bye and never come back. You can get a death trigger from it, which is reasonable, but um, doesn't really do anything. Yep, it's fine. Again, I, I just really care about if he plays to the board a creature that I can't remove that's going to present uh, a clock. Um, so let's go ahead and draw first before I... Ooh, so six. Um, I guess I could sort of combo this with other cards. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he, he he has to kill me uh, with uh, with creatures. Um, so this is eventually gonna have a, a target. So I don't need to aggro target it right now. Um, yep. So again, this card just re represents a, a lot of damage. So I'll go ahead and counter that one. Uh, let's see if he has any negates or dispels in his deck. He does. All right, so I've got this to kill the, well, I can use this to kill the 1-1. One, one. 
think I'll do that. Well, let's just contentious plan first. And interesting. So he returned an island, so he wants to play another spell this turn instead of omening. Or maybe he just realized... Oh. Mm, I guess not. I don't think it really makes a difference. Ooh, I can, uh, I can actually kill the three power creature. So I think I go ahead and do that this turn. Um... So let's give it neg one, neg one. So I would like to proliferate. Oh, um, I didn't realize I was gonna <laughs> tap uh, completely out. Uh, this is this is not the best, but I had already committed. Um, what I should have done that turn is um, not what I did. Um, let's see. Uh, what spell am I not going to bring back? Contentious plan is, is a redundant spell. I think maybe I had two Davriels too. Yeah, I could have exiled one of the Davriels. Hmm. I don't know why he did that. Next turn, I use one of the Davriels and one of the Bring the Endings. So we kill this Overseer. Ooh. Scary. What is he bringing back? I think that about closes it. Do I use it right now? I can get a land into play. I think I go ahead and use it and then Mogus. Or I can just Mogus right now. Yeah, I'm gonna clear up my past mistakes and keep up a counter spell. Um, so Davriel's and bring the ending. Um, so is the Sushram Polar Calls going to hit something of mine? I'm fine with whatever. Um, so I'd just rather just, um, take, take, um, two, two points of damage off the, off the clock. And, um, so, you know, if he wants to counter my contentious plan or something, but every turn I draw, I get closer and closer to drawing into more poison spells. So I think that's fine. Um, I'm thinking about even tossing my island. Um, I guess, let's see if he counters it. All right. Let's see if he counters that. Okay, three poison left. This makes it two poison. Okay, these cards are fine. Eventually, he, he could counter my Moguses to try to make me spend three extra mana. Um, I guess I could have countered the Inspector. Yeah, I'm kind of debating that inspector kill probably should have happened. All right, let's put a contentious plan in my yard. And that way I can exile it with Mogus's favor. Ooh, this is nice. So kill this. And then we are getting rid of these two. 
actually. It doesn't really matter, but... Okay. So now something died, so I can try to kill this repository scab. If he counters this, I think I would counter back. I think I do want to get his scab off of the board. Let's see if we're going to trade. Okay. He decided not to, that's fine with me. He's two poison away from dying. At least one counter in hand. I think he's desperately trying to get more counters in hand. Um, but I don't think I don't think he can draw enough. It's just like every turn I draw something that's like a, almost a must counter, right? After this, every poison card is a must counter. So. All right, um, do you want to counter this? I could I could try to wait and play around his counter. Um, yeah, but I just drew another one. I think if he counters this, I will counter back. Yeah, he's all tapped out. Go ahead. Let's, let's uh, get it. Okay. One poison card away from winning the game. And there it is. Um, let's see, yep. I guess he doesn't have any other counters. Okay. All right. So. So against a blue-white deck, I don't think I need to do this plan. He has a lot of value, so I think playing these, um, he does have counter, so I think playing the Dispel game is fine. Um, so annulling. I, I, do, I can annul his, his omens. I don't think that's where I want to be, though. I can duress him. I also don't think that's where I want to be. Mogus. A second Mogus may be where I want to be, although I think he's going to attack my graveyard. So if he attacks my graveyard, do I want to play Mogus? I mean, I'd, I'd much rather draw counters. Okay, so this I don't think is needed. He's never gonna have like super giant creatures that are creatures that I need to exile. Let's see. Charge and slip, oh yes, whisper. I'm just like so good against his creatures, but let's let's cite in one more. Okay. So now what is the worst cards in my deck? All right. I don't think he's going to have multiple creatures in play, so um, I don't think Tragic Slip's where I want to be. I'm going to be looking to counter his stuff and protect my draw cards, basically. Um, he can counter my other stuff, but I but if uh, my draw cards, I, I think I don't want him to counter that. All right. This is pretty reasonable against his deck. A Throbin, a Throbin can uh, kind of pose a little bit of a clock and get, get under the counter spells. So let's see if he throws down a Throbin right now. It might be even arguable to, to throw down a uh, Skyfisher, just like right now, um, to get it underneath the counter. 
All right. Did not see that game one, but that would have made me want to play more um, Anoles. All right, let's just go ahead and hold up counters for the rest of the game. So I think I ended up keeping two Moguses in. So um, for this this person coming back, what's its name? Um, let's just slow him down since I have no no cards that. Um, the Mogus' favors right now. I'm feeling a little bit behind, so that's why I wanted to do that. Let's go ahead and get an island with this. An island. <laughs> it's about to grab a swamp again. All right, unfortunately this turn I'm gonna have two, pro two things I probably need to take off the board. Um, because I'm probably not going to use my Essence Scatter on the, vec um, the other thing. Hopefully he plays something else, because, <sighs> because I, wanna, I want my Innocent Blood to kill his Vector Glider. Okay, this is great. Okay, so... Um, I think this is really good for me. So let's go ahead and play around his counter spell. I could play around it two ways. I could Innocent Blood or I could Raskus Fall. You know what? Let's Innocent Blood. Um, if he counters that, I'm, I'm okay. Um, Oh, okay. Um, uh, I'm thinking about that I have two counters uh, right here, so um, I kind of like uh, making him waste a counter, especially this counter, which, um, like on his turn, can be nice. All right, and now I have... Um, the option of what I want to bring back next turn. Um, so I think I'm probably going to main phase. No, no, I'm, I'm going to. Okay, so core sky fisher um, eats a counter. He can't. He can't play the 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 three four that brings a one one body yet. So it's fine if he counters this. Um, so I'm going to Raska's fall. And then I'm going to hold up, uh, bring the ending slash experimental augury. So it's good. Bye, bye. And then the power of the mystic sanctuaries comes into play here. All right. Um, do I want another Vraska's fall? I think I want essence scatter against him. And then I have I drew another sanctuary, so I can I can um, use the other sanctuary if he if he's able to resolve something under my uh, quench, um, yeah. So he can resolve the four four thingy. So interesting, he can hold control, he can play it. I won't be able to counter. Then he can respond by playing the this thing, the omen. So he could get his creature underneath the counter spell. Okay, that resolves. Okay, I'm feeling really good about this. Um, since I'm going to play the Mystic Sanctuary anyways, I'm probably going to experimental agri first. Uh, Dawnbringer Cleric. Um, he can exile a card, but it's only a one. Yeah, that's fine with me. Does he want to take out? I'm curious. What does he view as more of the threat, the fall or the scatter? All right, resolve. It's probably the right choice on his on his end. Let's go ahead and take this. It's a little bit of waste of the augury, but. Um, Ooh. 
So now I can just bring the augury back on top. Take action. All right. So he's got a one power clock on the board. I guess he can make it a two power clock on the board. Um, I don't think I'm gonna spend my, okay, so that definitely gets countered. Um, do I counter, oh, thank God, he's just like running into it, okay. Um, I, I, would, I, would, I would like really hesitate to counter this card, so I'm glad that I was able to use my uh, counter spell very effectively, and now I have a hard counter. Um, innocent blood. Uh, <laughs> I think I just uh, keep augering through my deck. Let's get another augury. Maybe a little bit greedy. So it represents a creature. All right. Does he have as his last card? Gosh, I gotta, I gotta learn the name of that card. That indoctrination attendant. Doesn't look like he does. So now if I draw into my Mogus or anything like that, I'm going to feel really good. So I don't think he's playing um, the Relics, so the Mogus is going to be pretty good. Whisper is also pretty good, which is the same as Vraska's Fall. Uh, I guess this one he could potentially choose. Um, so I think I, I want to grab this one so the other ones are in my deck. Um, I don't think it matters. Let's just go ahead and kill it right now. All right, opponents down to not very much. Oh, he did top one card. Go ahead and hold just to scare the opponent. I just really want to draw a draw spell, draw spell, draw spell. That's what I really want. Okay, that's one. Let's see if he counters the first one. Or maybe he's gonna use his okay. eight. It's fine. It would be a consideration to try to hold that until um but with nothing going on i think um i think i think i should play it i don't think there's any kind of use to uh trying to hold my heart okay let's see if he brings back the negate or his draw spell i think for him i don't i wouldn't bring back the negate but um uh, if i was him with a one damage clock it's not enough see if he has something this turn oh yeah even more if he didn't have anything this turn now I get to go wild I mean he got a little bit unlucky by me uh, let's see I guess I want to agree already Augury's is probably a free draw Okay, I guess I could play this out this. I don't have anything that discards cards from my hands for value. All right, um, I think I'm gonna counter back if he counters. Um, if he counters with something other than negate, I wouldn't. Okay, let's get a swap and a play. All right. So I feel like he should, he should fight early. Okay, 
So I've got two turns. Two turns, and I have to I have to go through at least one counter. I don't know if he has another counter in his hand. All right. Do you negate this, sir? All right. Um, I think that gives me another turn. No, it doesn't. If, it, if I draw another removal spell, it will give me another turn. Alright. Unfortunate. Good games. Alright, game three. So we saw that he brought the gates in. Um. Uh, and yeah, the six mana spell, it just gets eaten alive by bring the ending. Um, so we saw the, the saga creature. So I think I play a couple of these and I think I go ahead and cut some more removal spells. So cut this one um, and just play more removal. Or more ca more counters than removal. Let's see. Yeah. So basically, I took out all the one for one removal because he already gets value from his creatures when they come into play. I have the just repeatable removal removal that adds poison, and uh, just a little bit of removal. Um, potentially go down on on a couple more Raskus fall, but I, I think I need to keep a little bit of removal for him just in case he gets off to a fast start. And it and it does add to the poison count. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Um, uh, I do like it as because it can initiate it can it can infect the, the opponent um, the uh, Raskus fall so I think it's okay to uh, keep that in play. Let's go ahead and play first. Okay, so I got some of my sideboard cards. I think that's fine. Um, he could put a lot of pressure with... Um, so I think this game I'll be able to play the Sanctuary untapped, so I don't think I want to play it um, turn one to get it out of my hand. We'll see if it makes a difference. Um, this draws him a card, messes with my sanctuaries. I think it's worth it to go ahead and just get rid of that. Okay, my sanctuary is turned on. And I'm feeling really good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play this. In case I use my scatter, I can use my sanctuary to bring back my scatter. Okay, I'll just keep getting my tap lands out of my hand. I think the longer we wait, the more my deck is favored because I just need to draw a poison spell to get started and then... Um, so let's go ahead and not use my Sanctuary yet since there's not really a spell that I want to bring back yet. Kind of want to make it easier for myself to draw into the po the first the initial poison spell, so I I, I think I actually might decline. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll I'll contest his plan, sure. Let's see if he counters this. I would love a counter on the contentious plan. Uh, submit zero. Okay. Decline. I forgot how you have to do this. Ooh. So just making my land drops. Unfortunately, I only have one hard counter for his um, Imperial Oath. Or whatever it's called. I will have to counter that one. 
Um, it seems like um, I have I have two more turns before he's able to play around it by um, doing that. So yeah, let's go ahead and counter and then dispel his dispel. Jeez. Jeez. All right. Uh, this is no bueno. Unfortunately, drawing the wrong half of my deck right now. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and slow him down just a little bit. I have two innocent bloods just in case he uh, he drops the 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 three four. So I just want to make it less likely for him to draw into. There we go. Okay, that was an awesome draw. I'm definitely gonna counter if he counters this. Hopefully. Oh, he tapped out. Or well, he does have the spell mana open. Let's see if he. Oh, he didn't use it. Sweet. All right. Yep, that's fine. I already got the po opponent poisoned. Um. Sure. So he took two top. So he, okay. Um. Sure. Let's uh, let's do this. Um, he has a counter spell. So let's see if he wants to use it right now. Okay. One innocent blood. And it's good one. Alright, let's get my last swamp out of the deck. I'm still really scared of the Imperial Oath. So I guess, um... I guess it's a reasonable six. If, you, if you're gonna keep a six drop in your deck, I guess it's a reasonable spell. I only have four cards in my deck that counter it, and I've already used one to counter his one. Yeah, I just kind of been drawing air here, and unfortunately, I don't have him corrupted, so he doesn't even have to play around. I mean, he um, he doesn't have to answer. Robin's a good card. Alright. I think I go ahead and use my innocent blood, unfortunately. I'm gonna get a tap land out of my hand. Yep. Twelve minutes. I use so much clock, more clock than him. Uh, where's my infectious inquiries? Um, I could like fake control. I'm already using so much clock though. Oh god. I don't know why he did that. I feel like. He would have wanted to. Okay, let's get rid of this. Um. Okay, I think I just hold my tap line just to bluff, so the opponent just doesn't go hog wild. It's funny he didn't play his uh, flash card. This one, Omen. I don't know why lower wise they oh they all have flash. Ugh. I mean I'm just gonna kill him. I feel like like he missed his attack. This is just he's just I think he's given up. Okay. 
Okay, you go bye bye. Get rid of. Um, I have two innocent bloods, so let's get rid of one of the innocent bloods rather than dig through all of the cards. All right, he has me on a four turn clock. If he doesn't keep bouncing his attendant and stuff before it attacks. This does not bode well, we'll have to admit. Although having this in hand when he's he's spending time to drop his one toughness creatures feels really good. Man, I'm just getting flooded. Um, let's see. Uh, contentious plan is worse. Uh, and I'm never gonna have two dis want the need for two dispels. Okay. All right, three more turns. Yeah, you just got five cards in hand. Like the one one saving grace is if he, uh, he might let this resolve because I lose two life for it. Yeah, see this, and he did it before attacks again. I don't understand. Wait till after attacks. I have plenty of Mogus to kill. Yeah, I think he missed. I, I mean, he would have had me probably dead. I mean, he might still kill me, but um, this is definitely not... Uh, Optimal. Alright, um, Annul. Okay, bring the ending. Dispel, Essence Scatter. Uh, Infectious Inquiry. Think I'm getting rid of that one and getting rid of Annul. Oh, I have a Dispel in my hand, so. Um, yeah. Oh, next next card I'll get rid of is another dispel. I think all of those other cards I could see my the the game state getting into a place where I need to choose one of those. Um, yeah, I think I think I would have been dead already if he was playing optimally. I haven't even been tra keeping track of how, how low he's tapping out um, before he plays his other cards. Okay. Okay, so Dispel goes bye-bye. And uh, Essence Scatter, I think I'd prefer Bring the Ending in that situation. Oh, I have another Bring the Ending, so I probably should have kept the Essence Scatter. Although I, I'm pretty sure I have to um, infection, I have to put infectious inquiry on top of my deck. Resolves it doesn't change the clock at this point. All right. Resolves doesn't change the clock at this point. Plus, I can kill that. Resolves, unfortunately. All right, and and if he does throw the indoctrination attendant, I would counter that one. Let me counter your attendant at least to tap you out. Ooh, this is not good enough. Dang. And I was singing as I could I could kill some uh, some stuff. Uh, 
guess I'll take this one and this one. Unfortunate. So I mean, I I could uh, kill the th kill the Throbin, but then I um, can't do anything about the Skyfishers. So I just really drew poorly. Actually, I did that backwards as well. I needed to kill the Throbin with the first one, and then um, and then do it do it up. GG's. All right. Let's see if he wants to play again. 